Good. What's your mood? Happy. Happy. <laughs> well, are you ready for a flight? Uh, yes. Yeah. Good. Ну вы знаете, куда вы летите? Do you know where I'm heading to? No. No? No. 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 Вы летите домой. You fly back home. To, to the US. To the US. Okay. Да, конечно. Okay. Так что все будет нормально. Everything will be fine. Okay. До свидания. Tina just gave me the best news. Welcome home, Brittany. I'm at the dentist. <coughs> Don't ask. Welcome home, Brittany. Welcome home. Ah! Welcome home. Welcome home, baby. What a fantastic Christmas it's going to be. I am so happy for you. You've been through hell and back. That's okay. It's in the past. Go home to your wife. And I know they're going to be interviewing you like crazy. <laughs> Welcome home, Brittany. I told you guys they'll tweet her. Thank you, Lord. They did. Woo! All right, let me know. Do you want a sister to sister? Okay? I'll see you all soon. Thank you, Christina. My bestie. I love you. Hello, my beautiful Fumination. How are you? How are we? Brittany Griner should be home now as we speak. Yes, and I am so very, very, very happy for her. If you watch my previous episode on Brittany Griner when she was first arrested, I think 17th of February, I had talked about the fact that they were going to treat her. I instantly knew that they would treat her. I was shocked. I really was shocked that she stayed as long as she did. And um, I believe that the United States did the right thing. I believe that for less than an ounce of cannabis oil, that she had really paid her dues, that she had been punished. Brittany fell into a trap because it was very political and America, like all other countries, they have also Russian nationals in their jails. And so the Russians said, we'll wait. We'll get him back, our Russian national in jail. We'll wait because one of them, one of the Americans will make a mistake. It doesn't have to be any regular American. It has to be somebody of prominence, a celebrity, whereby we will keep them in custody and sentence them so that they're a prisoner, so that we will have a prisoner exchange. She was guilty of it, yes, but I don't believe in using a sledgehammer to kill an ant. I just don't. And at the end of the day, there's a big ruckus about the exchange which happened in Abu Dhabi, exchanging Victor Boot for her. Victor Boot was an arms dealer and he supplied arms to the Taliban. He supplied arms to West Africa. He supplied arms to the Al Qaeda. I am African and I know, I know what Victor Boot did, the effect that it had on those African countries. So it's hard. It's a hard one. 
But here's the thing also. Victor Boot was going to be out anyway, in a matter of 15 years or less, perhaps 12. So it was a fair exchange. The Russians had been wanting him for a long time. He's not going to have it easy in Russia. That is the misconception. They wanted him for a long time because they were nervous that he would start talking. So when he gets back, he has something else to deal with and the Russians have a case on their hands. I don't know whether, and many of you know because I have so many new followers now, but I was born in Moscow, Russia. Yes, I was. And um, Ula and I went back for our honeymoon. Lovely people. We had a fantastic time. We were there for, I think, three weeks. But very strict. This is a lesson for everybody. I'm American. I am an American citizen. Like my mother would say in Wolof, because she's Gambian, Te dai no go do am again. Meaning that for the rest of your life, you will never, ever do this again. I believe that she never will. I believe that she has been punished. I believe that this was the right thing to do. And dare I say, this is really what makes America great. This is what makes you guys stand head and shoulders above others. Don't get me wrong. It's not saying that you can go to somebody else's house and pee in the backyard. Oh, you know what? Let's take her back. She's ours. She's this. No, that's not the point. Let them have the punishment as served. But let it be the right punishment. If your son went to the neighbor's house... And because he peed in the yard on the grass, they gave him a hundred lashes. Would that be fair? No, that would not be fair. The punishment has to fit the crime. And I believe that if we did not get Britney out of there, she wouldn't have made it. She wouldn't have made it. Remember they had transferred her to a penal colony. She would not have made it. It was a fair trade. Victor Boot will be out in a matter of time. And they've got eyes on him. It's not that he's going to lie down in the sunset. Some of you will be asking, what of Paul Whelan, who has been there for the past four years on espionage charges? The Russians kept him off the table. They said either Britney or nobody. They took Britney. Better Britney than nobody at all. I noticed that they had cut her hair. And my heart sank a little bit. I know that her mental health has suffered greatly. And so she's going to have to go through therapy. She's going to wake up at night screaming nightmares. It's going to be a long road for her. And I wish her and her family the very, very, very best. And I am positive that Americans will still negotiate for Paul Whelan and they will be able to also bring him home. I am a person of empathy. I do not believe that you should go unpunished, but I believe the punishment should serve the crime. The Russians had wanted Victor Boot for years, and the Americans did not negotiate until Britney. It was a high-profile case. She had won gold in the Olympics in 2016. She had a lot of people pushing for her. And I don't think that's a bad thing. It's the same way I'm pushing for Shanquilla Robinson. For those that sometimes can't speak up for themselves, I will speak up for them in clear conscience. That is how I feel. Some of you, half of you, more than half, might say, for me, I don't agree with you. That is fine. Let's agree to disagree, but I'm giving you the reason why. For less than an ounce of cannabis oil, I don't see how in clear conscience I would have felt that this child should stay in a penal colony for nine plus years. No. And we have to remember, we have to remember, what would we do if this was our daughter or our son? 
I posted something onto my Insta stories. You guys follow me on Instagram. And one of you made a comment and I loved it. And I said, you know what? Let me read it out for you guys. I also put it onto my community on YouTube. It was Candace and she had made this statement. Trading a top Russian arms dealer for a pot smoking female basketball player is peak Western leftist philosophy. Incomprehensibly stupid from a political standpoint. But as long as it makes people feel warm and fuzzy, why not? That's what Candace Owens said. And one of my followers said this. Candace, be careful. You're a mother. You can raise your children right. Set good examples and they make their own choices. No good parent raises a child to smoke pot, do prostitution, break the law, or make poor choices. You yourself went away from your grandfather's teachings and later found yourself. I am an African. We have a saying that goes, you born the child, but not the heart. Children make their own decisions. And that is what I truly believe. Once I became a parent, I became reborn and it's very humbling and I have a lot of empathy when it comes to all situations. I try to look at it from all angles and say to myself, okay, what are we trying to do here? None of us know the entire detail of this negotiation. That's another thing. We don't know. There still might be more to it. And I believe that Joe Biden did the right thing. Whitney got caught in the crossfire. We all know that. It had nothing to do with her. Ukraine and Russia are at war. And the USA backed Ukraine. And that was the vendetta. And here walked in Brittany and got caught in the crossfire. And that is also weighed heavily on how I felt that she should, yes, in absolute fact, be released. And here is another comment. I think people that don't understand politics, especially on the international stage, should remain quiet like Candace Owens. The arms dealer had almost equally the same amount of time left that Britney did. Additionally, Victor is wanted by many, many other countries due to outstanding warrants. But I told you, he's not free. He won't be able to travel outside of Russia and will be monitored tightly by Russia. Putin now has an issue on his hands because he's got the other countries now to deal with who will want to extradite Victor to their countries for crimes that he has committed. And also, before anyone brings up Whelan, the US government wouldn't release someone guilty of espionage. We shouldn't expect Russia to either. Either way, I'm happy she's home. She deserves to be. These are the two that caught my eye. And I know there's going to be a lot of you that don't agree. And that is okay. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. All of my love, darlings. I live for you. Mwah. <laughs>